Hello, it's Friday. How you doing? Um, yesterday, I, I'm so sorry. I was so tired, and I looked at that M3, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Um, I, my hair looked terrible. I was like, it seemed, it seemed like I was drunk, and I promise I wasn't. I was a long day, a lot of talking. I, I just kind of, I take on people's hurt and pain. I empathize with them, sympathize. And sometimes it's very draining. But, so I'm like, I'm not going to wait to the end of the day. Plus today I have to, uh, just all I have to say is pray for my brother Mike, okay? All right. So yesterday we talked about, again, a concise, defined uh, uh, result for plan uh, with rules, explanations, and suggestions for bettering your condition of life. If you know what you want, everyone, here's the first part we all know what we want. And you can, but we don't think we can have it, but you can have it. So we're going to continue on this, maybe for the next, all the way to next week. You know, some people think, oh, they were born in a great family and lucky family. I think most people, if you look at the stories behind them, are basically uh, hardship. What doesn't kill them defines who they are, makes them tougher. Um, a lot of times you got to reveal the, the pain to get the gain. And um, so from a scientific perspective, uh, theological, um, psychological viewpoint, you know, some of these statements, you know, to you, like, ah, that doesn't make sense. Why? Because you can't identify with them. Because you're still living in that vicious cycle of, I think I can, I think I can. Um, I should, I could, I woulda. All right, we got to break the thinking and start thinking properly. You know, if, if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. You know, if if and belts were candy and nuts, every day would be a Merry Christmas. So, you know what? I'll tell you an important thing. Listen, there, we are not aware of the power so near that, it, you know, so near it's overlooked. So simple it's overlooked. So easy it's overlooked. So simple an operation that it's difficult to conceive. Like, no way can it be. What's the magic? Where's the big, you know, life-changing epiphany in my life? Oh, stop thinking that way. Um... And so, sure, it's in the results that is not made of us consciously or recognized, as, and, and, but it's recognized as the cause of failure and success. So it's difficult to conceive. It's really simple, just like goals. They're so simple, so easy, and um, worth repeating, 97% of the Harvard graduate class, 1957, had no goals, only 3%. The 3%, 30 years were more worth than the 97 but it's like, oh, that can't be. Start realizing the cause of success and failure is, again, your courage and commitment to not only create something, to, to write the plan, to work the plan, no matter what it looks, no matter how failures, how many off the roads you go, stick to it. Stick to it. All right? So we're going to continue that because I'm telling you what, um, and I'll say this several times, your objective mind and will are so vacillating that you usually only wish for things and the wonderful capability power within you does not function. Simple. I'll read that again tomorrow. So in the Christian standpoint, there's a lot of good things here. But I'm going to read a couple because it's the same way. Uh, when we think of ourselves, and not the higher power, and that's what this next part is going to be in the first part about wishes and you know, I wish I could have that. Um, you know, I can't go on. God's grace is sufficient. I can't figure things out. God said, I will direct. And there's all, you know what I'm going to do? And I promise you, I'm going to scan this and send it to you. Not today, probably, because I have to go um, leave here in a little bit. Um, I'm not able. God says, I'm able. You see, everything we say, I can't. He says, I can. So who do you want to trust, you or God? the higher power, to know that it's just not you, but he shows you favor, he anoints your thoughts, your words, your actions. I'd rather have him. He created the whole world in his hands. So remember, number one, you can, it says in Philippians, my favorite verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. He's gonna strengthen you today. If you ask, you gotta stand at the door and knock. Seeking you shall find. The door will be open. But you got to pursue him, and he's waiting for you. All right? Okay. So get your game face on. Armor up, stand up, speak up, to show up. Boom, blow it up. And realize 
who's on your side. All right? And remember, you're worth it. And God is good all the time. God is good all the time in my neighborhood. You see, God is good all the time, all the time. God is good, especially in my neighborhood. There you go. I'm so wound up today. And I apologize for yesterday, my kind of slow thinking. I'm awake. I'm going to do this in the morning because it put me to sleep. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.